Welcome back. It's Nicole and we are going to spend some more time again on the teacher side and now we're actually going to walk through the student resources that are housed on the teacher side as well as the teacher resources that are available for you and those are all going to be housed in the resource library and remember you can get to the resource library from your home page either by clicking through the resources in the resource carousel or by clicking on resources. If you're using the resource carousel, you're able to get directly to that specific resource that you're interested in. So let's go ahead and um, take a look at one here. We're going to click into the actual foldables section. So within McGraw-Hill Education's um, different programs, um, we have a proud partnership with Dinah Zykes, who has provided us with her different foldable suggestions tied directly to all of the different chapters. And these are those three-dimensional graphic organizers that your students can use to really um, take notes and really um, put that information that they're learning in a very manageable way. So do know within the teacher resource section you do have examples of all of these different foldables that would be available to you. And in addition to that you're going to have specific um, videos tied directly to those um, foldables as well. Now, um, in addition to the foldables, on the student resource side, you do have those primary sources, just like we saw um, when we walked through the student experience. You have all of those biographies, all of those 21st century skills, and of course those reading essentials. And remember those reading essentials are those um, differentiated um, resources that um, are approximately one to two grade levels below. Now to talk a little bit about the additional teacher resources that you have here on your teacher side, you do have your professional development tab. Uh, here's another introduction to networks and this is um, a brief tutorial on different components of the networks platform. And then you'll see that you have many other professional development resources available. Um, you have resources on understanding by design. Um, here's a, a video with Jay McTie. Um, you say how to, um, why using technology in the social studies classroom is important. You'll see here you have different white papers on understanding by design, um, on background knowledge, and so forth. So please do uh, spend some time looking through this professional development library here within the resource library because I think there's a lot of information here um, to help you. The last area that I wanted to mention um, regarding the teacher resources is the My Files and you can get to that by clicking here into My Files or clicking up top. And basically through My Files you are able to pull in any, any document, any file that you would like to be able to assign or use within the ConnectEd platform. Uh, students also have the same ability. So let's say as the teacher you assigned a research project to your students, you could actually have students go onto the web, do some research, pull in that file into ConnectEd, and then they would be able to submit that to you um, along with their, their regular assignment. Um, so here the process would be within the My Files tab you would click on Upload New Files. It's going to then search your computer for the specific file that you want to upload. So you'd find that file and then you would upload that file into ConnectEd. And this is where you would have all of those files housed. So we had the opportunity to walk through all of those resources housed in ConnectEd in your networks platform, um, not only your student resources but also your teacher resources. So why don't you spend a few minutes um, taking a look at um, those student resources, taking a look at the, the teacher resources, and I would really suggest um, you spend some time in that professional development tab um, so you can really use um, some of those PD offerings that we have in there. And then also why don't you pull up and upload a um, file through My Files and then see if you can um, assign that um, to one of your students since we already walked through that assignment uh, process.